we got the temperance okay so let's find out how this person like how your absence is being felt okay ow my don't you guys love my new earrings i'm coming with the truth these march readings i really wanted to tap into like that message you know it gives life force so let's see so i feel like there is a definite message that this person has gotten from your silence you have the temperance so i feel like there's a message like there's it's really quiet it's a little bit too peaceful for them um for them and they see that this silence this absence for you has restored you it is like you're glowing you're fucking glowing number one that's how they feel and it's kind of like they got to acclimate that. They're trying to understand what this all is. They're kind of confused, to be honest. Chaotic in the mind. Chaotic. Chaotic. Chaotic in the heart. So the emotions are mine in their mind. They're very imbalanced. They're not like um, there's misfunctioning because it's like they're feeling some way, but it's like their their mind is telling them another or their heart is telling them something, but they're, you know, they're planning something that isn't really in line with, with what they want. Okay, so they also could be um, just teaming up with people that kind of promote this chaotic energy within them, you know. Um, I feel like this person has a hard time with um, silence, period, just being alone, um, being separated, being alone. And so I feel like, honestly, this is probably the best thing that you can do for this person is like had to step off, you know, you had to step off. You probably did it for your own peace. I see that. Um, but this could be a gift for them, you know? But I don't think they're cherishing this gift. You're Honestly, you are a teacher. There's a reason why this person... Ooh, I was going to say, there's a reason why this person copies you. There's a reason why they want everything that you have. There's a reason why they take notes. There's a reason why they have this evil eye for you. It's because you, you know, you were meant to be a teacher to this person. You were meant to show them certain things, but they were unable to really even grasp that. I don't think they're going to grasp it until later on in life. But let's get some cards down. Okay, let's see how this person is feeling. They obviously feel disturbed. So let's see here. How is the absence being felt? We have, okay, okay, right now they're kind of like, they could be reading books or taking advice. I feel like they're going, they're taking advice during this absence. Ooh, this is not a good energy. I really want to be honest. Let me just get two more. Actually, um, what's more, uh, yeah, they're acting childish. That was the fool. Um, but more on the page of cups, more on the page of cups. Thank you, spirit. More on the Hierophant. Okay, thank you, spirit. More on the magician. How is your absence being felt? Oh, yeah. Okay, so with this page of cups, this person really wants to come forward. They want to make this really like light, fun, not, nothing too serious, but let me just get back on in because I really want to make this love offer. I really want to start something new again. Um, this person is emotionally unstable. They're like a roller coaster. Their actions might even show it. This person might be texting you. They could be acting out. They could be, but honestly, I feel like for most of you, this person with the hermit card, it's like this, you know, this person wants to reach out. They feel like they really want to, right? They really, really want to like appear as this sheep, you know, and come forward and be like this innocent child, like energy, fun and loving and open, but they're not, they're unresponsive with this hermit card. They're kind of like avoidant and they become very, 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 very distant from themselves. Oh, 
I was going to say from you. But I also feel like, you know, because the hermit is about going deeper into the self. So they are very distant from self at this moment, too. We have the three of wands. Um, what's interesting is like they feel that being distant is giving them an opportunity to discover you more. So do you see how this person is like, so this person is heavily watching you on different platforms. They're listening in on conversations and, you know, it could even be to that extent to where they're talking to people that have talked talk to you. Um, they're trying to find out what's going on in your life. Um, and they see that they're this, they think, it, you know, that being distant will cause something to you that will make you maybe come forward and talk. And they also feel like having this distance, they like this spying-like energy more. They like viewing you from a spying perspective. So even when this person was in your life, they were constantly looking and studying you. Okay? So, but the sad thing is like they will never really truly know you from this perspective, you know? Um, and maybe... This is the better way of how they will learn from you, okay? So your absence is making them feel like they have to seek guidance, either from therapy. They could also, I feel like they are. They could be seeking therapy. They could be getting tarot readings done, um, that kind of, you know, energy. With this night of potions, I feel like they're also seeking guidance from somebody that is emotionally manipulative. Um, this person doesn't have the best interest for them. This person um, puts on a show of who they really are. So they might try to come and be really emotionally supportive of this person, right? The person that's missing you, the person that is, you know, you're having separation from. So it seems like they might be gossiping um, about you or about the situation. Maybe not gossiping, but maybe like expressing how they feel. This person is really seeking help, but they're going to a Knight of Cups, which is not the best person to ask for spiritual, mental advice, you know. Um, so I feel that this person is kind of manipulating them. I would have to go more into it, but I feel like this is a person that tries to put on a show. You know, the Knight of Cups puts on a show. They want you to, they want to look good in front of you. So it's weird. It's like, you shouldn't even be really going to this person to talk about this situation. You should be going to someone that actually can give you advice on how to help you. But I think this person also knows that this person can't help, but... I don't think this person really wants to pick up to why their separation. We also have the magician here. And this is the thing, how they feel about you, right? They feel really lonely. They don't want to get close to you. They want to come forward, but maybe that requires them to step in a real, you know, the Hierophants here. They got to commit to like something um, healthy, something that's spiritually right, something that's orthodox. This person wants to live in dysfunction and be an emotional roller coaster. And so they go find the emotional um, the emotional roller coaster rider, the Knight of Cups, right? That's another person that's just like, will feed into your delusions and that kind of behavior, you know? Um, but I feel like, so these could be friends, these could be family members, these could be people that they don't like you either. Um but these are people that you wouldn't even ask for advice if you were in some type of situation. And the funny thing is that when this person is in a clear thinking mind, they would never go to this person. And, you know, it's kind of dangerous. They're in a dangerous situation. Um, okay. But what I feel is that this person, they feel so much and they're in this like state of confusion, which isn't really confusing. But this person has a lot of inner child work to do. Um, they want to manipulate. They also want to cause pain. They want to cause you mental anguish. And maybe they feel like this will manifest something for you. But heads up, that's what this person, that's the kind of energy that they're in. So they probably 
I don't know. They might try to create something in your life where that it caused a lot of pains, a lot of pain for you. So this could look like in many different ways. They could be using witchcraft to cast this type of pain into your life in some type of way. Um, or they could be just doing tricks, trying to, you know, tick you off. It's like an energy that's really low and that you are above. So I doubt that any of this shit would even affect you, right? How my demons look, how my demons look now that my pockets are full. Um... Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, so what I'm feeling is that you could be really good. Your pockets can be symbolic for anything. It could be like, you know, new love in your life. It could be actually your pockets are full. You got money, you know, um, during this time of separation. This person's spying on you. So they know that you're looking really good. And so they're realizing that they're realizing your demons. They're realizing your demons through this, um, this separation where maybe you were a PP, uh, a pee pee. Maybe you were a people pleaser, a pee pee, right? A little wiener. Um, I feel like maybe you were a people pleaser. That was your demon, right? Um, so what I'm getting at is you tend to use that people pleaser demon not to please them anymore. You're using it to please your life. So, for instance, maybe you took all your energy to please them and to make sure that this person was good, right? You're no longer doing that. Now you're putting it into your business. You're putting it into your audience. You're using that people pleaser demon to benefit you. That is how you merge with your demons. That is how you use your shadow. That's how you don't let your shadow run havoc in your life, but you use it to benefit you. So instead of using this demon or letting the demon use you, right? And you're pleasing this person. You're no longer doing that in this situation. You're taking that energy that used to control you and you're applying it to your career because now your pockets are full. You know, you're applying it. You know, we're made this way for a reason. We're not meant to cast out our shadow. We're not meant to kill our ego or kill our demons, slay them. No, you are meant to use them. Okay, so that's, I, I feel like that really rings true for you guys. You're a main character. This person sees that you're the main character in your life. Okay, photographed by J. Cole, that song by J. Cole photograph. This person is falling in love with you by photograph. Go listen to that song and see how delusional it is, okay? Okay, so we have active Merkaba. You're, you're moving on. You're moving on, you know, and they realize that about you. Magical insight. They're just like, how does this person know? Because they're watching you. They, um, they, are, they're, they, they see that your moves are strategic, Okay, side character. They're realizing that they're a side character. And the thing is, is that they don't got to be a side character. They could be a main character in, you know, in their own life. Like, what am I, you know how like, I don't mean to say it like this, but it's like, you know how like we watch, let me see, let me see, let me see. It's like a spinoff, but there's always a main character to a spinoff. You know, like we, it's like, and this is not to say that you are better than someone else, but they could have their own show. They could ha be their own main character. And I feel like they're just feeling like a side character. And it's like, dude, you can be a main character, a side character. And it's like, dude, you can be a main character. You can have your own show. And it's not about like having a spinoff, you know, but it's, it's like, dude, you can have your own show. You could be your own main character. We get spinoffs because we want to know. Like, okay, for this instance, let me tell you. Which I don't know how it's going to be. I'm going to check it out. But with The Walking Dead, we know Rick was the main character. That was Rick's story. That's why it went to shit when he left. But now we got Daryl Dixon. Dixon's show going on. Right? 
And so, like, I'm gonna watch that because I love Daryl. Daryl was one of my favorite characters. And so I just feel like, you know, and he was kind of like a side character that was kind of main. But now he got his own show and we want to know what's going on with Daryl. How's Daryl doing? I'm gonna look into Daryl Dixon's show. I don't know why they called it Dixon. I, you know, it's weird, but I'm gonna see what it's about. And that's the thing. This person is not being a main character in their life. They're making you the main character. And it's really bad. They're the villain. You know, and the villain is never the main character. <laughs> throat. You're using that throat. Okay? You're using that throat in some type of way. You might have used that throat with them. And they're thinking about that throat. <laughs> I'm just saying. But they're thinking about what, you know, the throat chakra. Things that you've said is sticking. You know? But it's... I don't know. Their demons are controlling them. But let me know down below. How do you feel about this? Um, are you worried for them? Because I felt a little worried energy with them going to people that just want to manipulate them and get something out of them. You know, it actually feels like two narcissists, you know, talking um, and using each other, you know, and eventually that doesn't work out you know um but let me know down below how do you feel about this what's going on um are you gonna keep your distance you know um let me know down below and you know i'm booking reading so if you want to book with me click the link down below but until then i'll see you at the next reading peace <music>